said, is what constitutes mindfulness practice, right? I'm sure that's on your mind as well as you sit here. So is it when you do these yoga poses? I really hope that's not the case because I can't do that. Or is it when you're taking a walk in the park? You guys have a beautiful gardens in the bay, so is that what mindfulness is? Or is it smelling oranges? I couldn't find a copyright picture that was about smelling roses, so I put a smelling oranges picture here. And my answer to that is that it's all of this. Mindfulness, the way I have conceptualized it in my research, in my personal practice, as well as in my everyday life, is that mindfulness is a state of being. It's a lifestyle factor that we can bring to any given moment that, we, uh, uh, that we're facing. So even if it is sitting in this room right here, you can bring mindfulness practice to that. So rather than thinking about the dinner that you're gonna have or the plans that you have in the evening or what happened in the past, it's about this present moment and bringing your attention to whatever it is that you're doing in this present moment. So let's start by a few definitions of mindfulness, and there are tons of those that exist out there. The ones that I like to focus on is the one given by John Kabat-Zinn, who is considered to be the founding father for mindfulness-based stress reduction programs, basically taking a lot of the Buddhist traditions and packaging it into this nice eight-week program. And here's how he defines it. Mindfulness means paying attention in a particular way. So it's about attending to the present moment on purpose, so there's a lot of intention involved, but doing so in a non-judgmental and accepting way. And that's an important component as well. So it's not just about attending to the present moment, but it's doing so in a framework that cultivates non-judgment, that cultivates acceptance.